I went to a T.I. concert once, and he told me, well, the whole crowd that haters are only going to hate if you've got something for them to hate on. So thanks, D.I., for basically writing the beginning of this article. Because the line sums up perfectly what's been happening with Avengers Infinity War this year. The latest Marvel installment has earned around $2 billion at the box office and ecstatic praise from its hordes of fans, all serving as an incentive for the aforementioned haters. But there's one thing the critics keep coming back to, and it has to do with the movie's ending. Warning, spoilers for Avengers, Infinity War below. Marvel and Disney Gamora, Zoe Saldana, in Avengers, Infinity War. The film's ending wiped out half the residents of the universe, including a lot of your favorite superheroes like Spider-Man, most of the Guardians of the Galaxy and Black Panther, but many of those characters have sequels that are on the way. I loved Infinity War. I loved it so much I want to marry it. I too, however, can be counted among the ending aggrieved haters, I previously wrote about how the Marvel masterminds basically lied to us about the permanency of the film's deaths. Death is death. Infinity War writer Stephen McFeely told me in an interview before the premiere. If we say goodbye to some characters, we will say it permanently, he added later. Ah, uh, Spider-Man 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 and Black Panther 2 beg to differ, dude. Plus, some of the actors whose characters supposedly died have already confirmed that they're coming back in Avengers 4 and other sequel movies. My colleague Matt Jacobs laid out his beef with the deaths in an essay titled The End of Avengers. Infinity Fair is what happens when money writes movies, Marvel Studios is a business. First, owned by Disney, and a story factory second. And because it's a business, we know how many movies certain actors are contracted for and which ones have sequels already in development. That includes some whose characters supposedly went bye-bye. We said our piece, and now the Infinity War directors, Joe and Anthony Russo, are responding. I asked the Russo brothers for their thoughts on the criticism, and about the fact that we'll see dead characters coming back in sequels, but they stuck to their guns. Here's the thing. I think it's important to remember anything is possible in the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Anthony said. Just because there's a sequel on the books doesn't mean. People become accustomed to time moving linearly in the MCU. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. There's a lot of very inventive ways of where the story can go from here, Joe agreed, reiterating the idea that the movies don't need to happen in chronological order. There's four years between Guardians 2 and Infinity War. That's a long time, and a lot of Guardians stories to tell. Again, as Anthony said, don't expect everything to move forward in a linear fashion in the Marvel Universe. Marvel and Disney Star-Lord, Chris Pratt, Groot, Vin Diesel, Gamora, Zoe Saldana, Mantis, Pom Clemente, Rocket, Bradley Cooper, and Drax, Dave Bautista, in Avengers, Infinity War. Okay, some of what the directors said is going to come true sooner rather than later. Marvel's next two films, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel, both take place before the Infinity War timeline. But according to some theories, that's so both of those movies can establish ground rules for the Quantum Realm dimension, which could bring back dead characters in the future. 
If this were the DC Universe, we could have used Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth on the Rusus. But also, if it were DC, Captain America and Iron Man would have probably stopped fighting in Captain America Civil War because their mums have the same name. So we might just be better off waiting. Download before you go more, Movies Marvel Comics Avengers Infinity War.